Hello! Today we are going thrifting at Savers. I think you can kind of see it, maybe. Um, so I'm gonna go in there. It's not like any special um, coupon hour or anything. I just have like a 20% off and I think I have a $5 off as well. So yeah, we're gonna go in and go thrifting. I'm gonna take you along with me so we can see what we find. <music> I was looking at these glasses. They are Disney. I believe this one was a McDonald's um, cup and then this one was a 25th anniversary. Uh, maybe it was also McDonald's. I did look these up but the comps were not great so I ended up passing on them even though I do love Disney and they were very cool but they were not a complete set. This was a new to me brand. It was called um, Bold Body. I did check comps on these and I would pick them up at the bins but just not enough um, room for profit with those prices and then a new with tag pair of J Crew pants I also passed on here's my pile that I'm getting and here is a Lululemon sweatshirt that I found I ended up passing on it just because it had a little bit of wear um, to the overall color it was faded and it was a little bit pricey and then there is also that likely dress but it had a stain on it so I passed on that as well and then this next item is a very fake pair of Tory Burch sandals that were priced pretty high. And so I pass on those as well. And now we're going to get into the haul. All right, we are back for the um, thrift haul portion of the video. So I ended up spending um, fi around $50. It was $50 and 51 cents. Um, so that was after 20% off. That is the I also had a five off of ten dollar coupon, but I don't think it worked. I think you can only do one coupon um, per transaction, so I should just maybe split it up. But there's quite a few people online, so I didn't end up doing that. But yeah, so I ended up spending around fifty dollars. I hope you enjoyed some of the thrift with me footage that I was able to get, and let's get into the haul. Okay, this first piece. They had, there was multiple um, branding with tags, Lulu's pieces, and they were all size large. Um, they were all marked, what was this one at? I think it was $16.99. Um, I'm pretty sure it was $16.99. Um, and so I think most of them were either $16.99 or $18.99. So I only ended up picking this one up because I looked up this particular style and comps looked pretty good. They looked at like 50 or 40 to 50. Um, so this is like a tiered, super vibrant pink dress, and this is the front, and it's super pretty, nice like ruffles and everything. So yeah, this is a size large, new with tags. Um, the other pieces, there was like a couple of rompers, and I just, like they are short rompers, and I just feel like those don't do super well for me, so I did not pick those up. If I was at the bins, I maybe would have tried them, especially being um, new with tags. And then this piece was a new to me brand. So the brand is Birdwell. Here is the, um, I guess, kind of the logo. I guess this little guy's the logo. 
um, but these are beach um, britches and so they are like little swim um, trunks I guess they are not lined um, these are in a size 32 so these are men's and um, I'm trying to I think they retail for around a hundred and then comps were again looking at like 40 to 50 um, some maybe a little higher some a little lower but these weren't too um, badly priced so I wanted to try these out I like trying out new brands to see how they do so I grabbed those because the price was good and then next piece I was excited to find it is a pair of new a tag Spanx I think these are called the jean ish so they have like their actual jeans which are similar they don't they're like just like a pull on um, jean so these are similar but I think these are called the jean ish and they're more just like um, like a cottony kind of um, stretch fabric um, but these are in a size 1x and they are a, are a tall length um, so yeah they are new with tags they don't have like all the information on it on the back like usually the Spanx tag does so I wonder if this was just sold at like um, a different retailer or something but yeah so they are the jean ish pants and they're in a green and they're in a tall length and those these kind don't do as well for me as like the actual um jean like ones that look like jeans but these still do pretty decent especially being new a tag and a larger size and also with tall i think people kind of look out for that as well with like tall and short sizes so i grabbed those and then i also found another pair of spanx and these are a size small and these are just the faux leather legging and they're in really good shape these only were marked i think they were 3.99 so they were very inexpensive so I grabbed these these used to do super well they haven't been doing as good like they don't go for as much anymore but um, for $3.99 that still is a nice like low cost to good so I grabbed these and then I grabbed this pair of leggings so these are Lululemon the logo is like gray so it might be kind of hard to see it but um, these, they're a little bit newer. I think the tag says they're from 2018. Yeah, so the little pocket tag. They are size 6, and they're in really good condition, but when I was photographing, I did notice this little hole in the, like, back of the leg. So, I don't know if I'm just going to list as is, or I could just, like, stitch it up, but it's really not very noticeable. The only reason I know, I thought it was just actually, like, some lint or something, um, but yeah, it is a little hole, so I will, um, uh, maybe I'll just list as is first, and I grabbed these as well because they also were not marked very high, they were like 5, um, 70 something, so, yeah, I picked these up, they also had some Lululemon tank tops, but they were all like $30, so these just felt like they are really good condition still, obviously besides the little hole, but I believe they are the High Rise Wonder Under, just based on the style and then we only have a couple items left then this next piece is um, a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans and these are the skinny high rise in the curved love edition and they are a 30 um, or 10 regular and they are just a plain black pair of jeans no distressing or anything and I grabbed these I love selling like the mom jean the mom jean um, Abercrombie and Jean, Abercrombie and Fitch jeans do really well. Um, I think the dad jean is another one that does well. And like any of the '90s styles um, do well. The straight leg and everything. So, um, yeah. But I grabbed these because they were a little bit of a bigger size, and they still have that curved love, and they're high waisted. So I think these will still do pretty decent, at least like um, probably 35, 40. I usually list my Abercrombie jeans around 50. Um, unless they're like a super sought after style, I'll list them a little bit higher in like 65. So I think those would do pretty good. And then the last item I need to do a little bit more research about, um, but this is a vintage coach purse and I believe this one is authentic. Um, it has, you know, a little bit of like scratches and stuff to the leather. I'm going to do like some other conditioning on it, but, um, this is looking at the style styles online i believe this is called the basic bag and this is one of the ones that is made in new york city and 
this kind of looked weird to me how there is like the um, style number and it's kind of like raised a little bit or like they almost put another patch of leather on top but I actually saw multiple like that and like the zippers and everything look good so yeah so this one this style um, looks like it was made in the 70s and there's kind of like all over the place like on Etsy some people have them for like 300 I actually saw one on coach's website like their secondhand items they now sell their like vintage coach purses on there um, and they had this exact style I think it was a different color but it was like 550 so yeah and I also saw some on Poshmark for like 50 so I don't know for sure I'm gonna list it yet I am gonna do a little bit of conditioning on it and we will see but otherwise it's in pretty good shape there's a little bit of like tarnishing stuff on the hardware but yeah it's really nice I love selling vintage coach bags I've never had one that says made in New York City before so I am interested to see how this one does and um, if I can get more for it or whatnot so yeah so here is this this is actually the last item from this thrift haul it wasn't a ton of stuff which I think I always say but kind of is normal at Savers um but yeah I like going to Savers still because I found a lot of good stuff I sold a lot of things um for over 100 that I found at Savers so it's like kind of hard not to go back especially um because it's kind of my closest thrift store that's not the Goodwill outlet as well so yeah that is everything from this haul I hope you um enjoyed the video and I hope maybe you could look out for some of these newer brands um like those um swim trunks and if anyone knows anything about like the um vintage coach bags like specifically the ones that are made in new york city um please let me know in the comments below that will really help me out i'm definitely gonna do some more research um about it but yeah i think it does look authentic with comparing um a lot of different ones in that same model and everything so yeah hopefully it wasn't priced too bad either i think it was 9.99 and they and it was just like in the normal like bag section they have a lot of like coach and like kate spade bags in their like glass case area and those ones are very expensive so that one was not too bad so yes thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye